Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you an article. I'm actually covering an article. Uh, it's rare that I do that, but I really wanted to cover this and share it with you guys. Now, there is a county in Virginia state who are going as far as regulating flags people can have, the size of them, where they can fly them, etc., etc. And the reason they're giving is quite absurd. And by the way, the flag that they are restricting is the United States flag. But the reason why they're doing it is because they're trying to associate all of this QAnon stuff, all of this Q rubbish, with the United States flag, right? They're saying that you can't have United States flag, you can't have it a certain size, you can't do this, you can't do that. Because they're fearful that people who fly the American flag might fly a QAnon flag. It's ridiculous. They're trying to associate this QAnon LARP rubbish with American patriotism. You see, flags bind people together. It unifies people. The same as national anthems. They unify people. Unity is the direct opposite of diversity. They don't want uni unity. They don't want anything that will bind us together, right? They want things that separate us. That's why they're targeting the American flag. That's why they're poking their nose into your own home and telling you what you can fly, when you can fly it, and how big or small that flag must be so let's get into this article but if you haven't yet please like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and share this video around that'll help me stay competitive with the likes of cnn and the like youtube does unfortunately section off and shadow ban independent commentary channels so i could really do with your help okay let's get into this video okay so the article a virginia county planning commission will vote wednesday on restrictions that would ban residents from flying american flags larger than six feet by four feet and displaying them displaying more than two flags because apparently if you have a flag that's seven foot by five foot suddenly it becomes a QAnon flag ridiculous the planning commission of fairfax county a 1.1 million person 1.1 million person jurisdiction just outside Washington, D.C., of course, is weighing a plan by staff to limit the size of flags that homeowners may fly to 24 square feet, lower the maximum height of flagpoles to 25 feet, and limit the number of flags to two. Like, see, this just goes to show you the priorities of the people who make the decisions in and around Washington, D.C., and the people, this is why you have to really pay attention to the people you elect. And not just if they've got an R in front of their name or a D in front of their name. Whichever choice is your preferred choice. You've got to look at the individuals. Not just president material, governor material, uh, house of representatives material, senate material but down at a local level, because those people, your mayors, I know not everywhere has the likes of aldermen, but I know Chicago has aldermen, county officers, county officials, councillors, because they're the people who are going to be making decisions that affect your life. And if you don't pay attention, you will end up with people like this, whose priorities are flags. They're the only people who even talk about this QAnon rubbish is left-wingers, I'm afraid. The mainstream media. They're trying to create a boogeyman where none exists, really, right? The people who live in Fairfax County, their priorities are education. Their priorities are having safe neighbourhoods. Their priorities are lower taxes, um, higher living standards, more jobs. But the people making the decisions they're worried about what size flags you can fly. It's ridiculous. So it continues. Let's get this off. 
Zoning Administrator Leslie Johnson said February 10th that her agency came up with the plan because the county believes that it may not treat the American flag differently from banners displaying political opinions. So there you go. The American flag has now become a political opinion. That is a very important point here to make. You've got to really read in between the lines. You always have to do that with left-wing type people because they never tell you directly what they're wanting to do. They always mask it or hide it in vague talk. So when they say, when Zoning Administrator Leslie Johnson say her team came up with the plan because, quote, the county believes that it may not treat the American flag differently from banners displaying political opinions, that's because inside their own heads, they see the American flag as a political opinion. So they see the American flag as, of course, being something that's allied to patriot causes. That's why they say they need to ban them and curtail them. And that's why they're bringing QAnon into it. Because in their head, they see the United States flag as something that is associated with patriotism. So to them, it's only a small leap to go from the United States flag to QAnon flag. You see what I'm saying, right? That's why they're doing this. That's why the likes of you and me, when we see this, we think, what? QAnon? How did you get to QAnon flags? From American flag to QAnon flag. How did you get there? That's why we have that response. Because we don't associate the American flag strictly as a political opinion of the right, we associate it as something that binds Americans together, left or right, white or black, man or woman, gay or straight. The American flag is something that's meant to represent us all. The left don't think like that. It continues. Well, I'll finish her quote because I didn't finish it. So she says that, that it may not be treated differently from banners displaying political opinions and rules that allowed large American flags would also allow flags that could be objectionable. Somebody may want to fly the Confederate flag, the American flag or the QAnon flag. So you see what I mean? They associate American flag, it goes from American flag to confederate straight to QAnon but nobody's doing that the problem is in the western hemisphere and particularly in America the left have become hyper focused on this QAnon lab they see QAnon in every bowl of breakfast cereal in every jar of coffee they see it everywhere but it doesn't, it, it doesn't, well, it does QAnon exist? Yes, it does exist. But is it this threat like this? No, it's rubbish. Just. Johnson, this is Leslie Johnson, acknowledged that though flags have largely been exempt from zoning regulations, it had seldom been an issue in the past. It's seldom been an issue now. It's not an issue, it's a non-issue. She, she said, I quote, I would note, we don't get a lot of complaints on this. We've had a few. We'd be remiss if we didn't at least look at this and put some kind of regulation, she added. This is the thing. Left-wing author authoritarians love regulation. They will insert it into anything. If there's anything at all in your life that they could have a say on and say, you need to do it this way, you need to make it this small. You need to move this fast. If there's anything in your life that they can do that with, they will, right? And she says herself, she's had seldom had any complaints. She says, I don't get a lot of complaints on this. I don't think you get any. I don't think you've had any complaints, right? This is you with this self-generated fear of QAnon, right? You're scared of your own shadow, really. You've hyped up this Q nonsense to such an extent that you're now scared of your own shadow. That's what 
I find a lot of Democrats have done. They've generated... I'll tell you what it's like. You know children? You know children who uh, at a sleepover? You probably experienced this when you was a kid. And one of the kids starts te telling ghost stories to all the other kids to try and frighten them. But in the end, all he ever do all he's actually done is frightened himself, yeah? When he goes home, he thinks about all the stories he's told, and he ends up scaring himself, right? Because he ends up believing the own st his own stories, the stories he told. This is this, writ large, right? The Democrats have created this QAnon threat, that's a threat to everything in the world, but the only people, in the end, who's bought it, is themselves and now they're trying to restrict flag sizes just in case someone who has a large flag they just might put up a QAnon flag it hasn't happened nobody said it would nobody said they were concerned about it but they did it anyway because they're scared of their own shadow they're scared of something that they created themselves they've blown it all up out of proportion and who, in the end, has to pay the price for it? You do. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think about this insane regulation that doesn't do anything to boost your safety, boost your bank balance, make your neighbourhood safer. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't help the environment. You know, all these things that the left claim they care about. Doesn't help the environment. Doesn't help anything. It just adds pointless, petty regulation to your life. And it just makes life harder to live. This is why people look back at the 1990s with rose-tinted spectacles. Because in the 1990s, we didn't have all this regulation. People were free. People could live their life. Not like today. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um... Sorry about my voice, I've been quite ill lately. I've had bad throat, bad teeth, uh, toothache. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video around social media. That is important. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.